My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. For all you guys that like the old school sleepers, here's a 65 Chevelle Post Coupe Poverty Hubcaps in uh, uh, gold. I mean, it just looks like grandma's car. But there's a big black 396 and there's a four speed on the floor right there. And let me tell you what, they did a complete restoration. I have the photo album before, during and after. And this thing was on a rotisserie. I mean, down to a bare, bare shell and uh, really restored every little detail. I just looked up under the dash and it's all brand new. Uh, every component, uh, you name it, it's restored. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can see all the pictures of the car, including we scanned a few of these. That's where you can read the description. That's also where you'll find price tags on all the inventory that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe and click that bell icon so you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is an exceptional car. Uh, not only did they restore it, but they did an excellent job restoring it. The body was off the frame. The body was put on a rotisserie so they could flip it, work on it from every angle. They just do a better job that way because you're not having to bend and kneel. You can see it from every angle. Uh, and so the whole chassis was restored. The frame was uh, blasted and painted, and then all new fuel lines, brake lines, all the suspensions, all new. Uh, it's all in the correct finishes. You know, some parts are black, some parts are gray. They even put the assembly line markings on the suspension components, just like it would have went down the assembly line. Uh, this one also has the F41 suspension, has sway bars front and back, and also box control arms in the back. The fuel system was replaced completely. The tank, the straps, the sending unit, the fuel lines. The brakes were completely redone. There's even a picture with the drum off of it and all the springs and everything just looks brand new because it was. Uh, they did upgrade it to disc in front. Disc didn't come out till 68, uh, but it has disc brakes now. Uh, nice dual exhaust system. Looks like a factory style dual exhaust. Tailpipes are tucked up underneath there. Nothing's hanging down. Uh, you look up at the motor, the Chevy Orange is still spotless. The Muncie four-speed transmission is spotless. All the linkage looks like new. Uh, the drive shaft, uh, correct 12-volt rear end, dated 1965, uh, is in the car back there. I think it's a 307 gear, so it is a cruising gear. Uh, so yeah, underneath the car, front to back, practically brand new. The body is outstanding. They did an excellent job restoring it. I just closed this door a second ago. I mean, that's nice. It shuts like a new car. But arrow straight, I mean laser straight, not ripply, not, not borderline. This thing is really straight with a glass finish. These lines are spot on. There are no bubbles or blisters uh, from rust down here. It's all smooth and clean. All the gaps are spot on. Same thing, square and flush, straight. Glass finish, the lower quarters are real nice. So back here, the tail lights, the moldings, the bumper, the trim, the reverse lights, everything is just sparkling, it's beautiful. The rear glass is crystal clear. There are some light scratches up here. Someone must have just touched it with the grinder. Stainless molding is polished like chrome. This molding here is uh, highly polished. Door handles were replaced. Look how nice this all fits. This side's just as good as the other side. It's called Sierra Fawn. There is metal flake in the paint. Or Sierra Tan, I think. The interior is fawn. All this lines up super nice. Crystal clear windshield. Again, all the trims polished. Does have the cross flags with the 396. Now, something must have been on the hood when they painted it. There are small... Small little blisters um, just on the hood. 
probably won't bother most people. A person walking up on the car won't notice it. If you absolutely hated it, you could have the hood repainted, and there's nowhere else on the car is it like that. Up front, it has the T3 headlights, and all of the grill, the bumper, the trim, the emblems, all of it is redone or replaced. Correct antenna. Poverty hubcaps are beautiful. The rims are painted. has BF Goodrich tires on it. Looks like they're a little bit wider, fatter in the back. car does have a stance to it, too. The side glass is crystal clear. Probably replaced all the glass. The rubber seals are new. The latches are new or restored. The weather strips are new. Jams are beautiful. All right, so why don't we uh, open it up and take you inside the car? And the trunk compartment's beautiful as well. Really nice, clean metal. They gave it a very tidy gray and white spatter finish. Uh, you got a jack and spare assembly, the mat, the tire cover, the seat divider has been replaced. Under the trunk lid is like glass paint, has the stickers, the latches restored or replaced, the weather strips replaced. Beautiful trunk compartment. It's got the nice, uh, you know, basic interior, like grandma's grocery getter, door panels, armrest, window cranks are replaced. Look at the chrome vent window trim and handle, it sparkles. And then the metal inside the car is painted just as nice as the outside. Uh, the dash is painted beautifully, the, the hinges, the steering wheel. Look how the whole chrome dash is restored. And it has the full gauge package. It has a 160 mile an hour speedometer. has a tachometer in the middle. I think it's the higher red line for a performance car. And then the gauge cluster. And it all seems to be functioning. Uh, the AM radio works. New glove box liner. And then check out the shifter on the floor. It's the correct bench seat. A uh, curved shifter with a little white ball and a reverse lockout. Has real nice carpets. In the photo album, there's even pictures of the seats. The seat springs were repainted. So they're completely rebuilt and restored seats, not just new seat covers. As an example of some of the pictures uh, that will go with the car. Here's the seats I was talking about. You can see the springs all redone, all new. It does have the original, they're deluxe seat belts with retractors, but they're a little bit faded. Back seats, door panels, armrest, all of that's pristine. The headliner is all new and tight as a drum. All the inside trim is real nice. Dome light works. The visors, the mirror, the, the horn ring, the kick panels, the dimmer switch, all that looks new. The sill plates. Now they made what's called a Z16 uh, Chevelle in 65. That would be a 396. They made like 200 of them. And I think they're a couple hundred thousand dollar cars. This is not one of those, obviously, but that's the theme it was going for. Uh, now, this is very uh, done to uh, original style. It's got GM hoses and clamps. Uh, it's got the big pulley on the alternator, painted valve covers, the right manifolds. Even has the duplicated markings on the firewall has a Delco reproduction battery, not just a cover, but it's the actual battery with spring clamp cables. You see the markings, they duplicated that like original. And I do see it's dusty in here. My guys need to clean that, they must have forgot. But all the metal surfaces are smooth, the wiring's new, it's got the horns. Uh, cadmium plated brake booster with the dual reservoir master. So that is an upgrade that wouldn't have had in 65.
So I tell you what, when I really got to look at this car, it only got better and better. I'm really impressed. Uh, a customer of mine that is super fussy asked about this car, and I thought, oh boy, now that I'm looking at it, absolutely. I'll tell him, buy it. It's got my two thumbs up. Uh, yeah, the clutch fan is all restored, the regulator, the steering box, all of it's beautiful. My guys will spend a little time, wipe this down a little better. But what a, a very, very well restored car. Got the bow tie mirror. And it feels real good, uh, you know, functions really well. Uh, everything about it is excellent in my opinion. Go to volocars.com, plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, make sure you ask. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this in your driveway. They can help you get it financed at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.